In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we gather together this morning as God's people to celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation, we're mindful of God's presence with us now. So let us pause a few moments, praying for the grace to be open to his presence. At the same time, let us together acknowledge our sins, seeking God's mercy to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you continue to nourish and strengthen us through your word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you send us into the world to be signs of your presence, witnesses of your love. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. It is not enough for you to weary people. Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips 
as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here, Here I, I am, am, Lord, I come to do your will. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who is called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. The good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes when we receive dramatic, unexpected news that seriously affects our lives, we tend to get thrown off balance. And we need to kind of recover our bearings. You know, it was the same with Mary. She was familiar with the Old Testament prophets and the prophecies about the Messiah. And suddenly she is told that they were all about to come true through her. So Mary, as we would be, we could say, was thrown off balance. She was disconcerted. Then told that the Holy Spirit will come upon her, she ultimately says, may it be done to me according to your word. She surrendered. Mary surrendered to a plan that was bigger than her plan. Mary surrendered to God's plan. In our own lives, even in the crisis that we face as individuals, as families, as a state, as a country, as a church, like Mary, we are invited to say, may it be done to me according to your word. When we surrender our lives to God's plan, our life becomes a part of a bigger story, God's story. 
and we know that God is ultimately in charge, that we are not. And when we can surrender to that bigger plan, we will find peace. And the peace that Mary found, the peace that God's promises us, the peace that can be ours. Together as God's people, let us now bring our prayers and petitions before our God. Let us pray for the church, the people of God, that guided by the Holy Spirit, like Mary, we may surrender our will to the will of the Heavenly Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us continue to pray for our world leaders that they may be open to a spirit of wisdom as they try to serve God's people. During this time of crisis and fear, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick in need of prayers for healing. We continue to pray for those who have the virus. We pray for those battling cancer, those recovering from strokes, those in our hospitals and nursing homes, those struggling with mental illness and addictions. May the healing spirit of Christ uplift, renew, and strengthen them. For the sick, we pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the many people in the medical community who care for the sick, that God may give them strength and wisdom and compassion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who have died. We especially remember Michael Kennedy and all our beloved dead. May they share in the fullness of everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those families who are grieving the death of loved ones, especially during this time that they may find comfort and strength in the presence of our God and the promise of the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we bring your prayers before the Lord now. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for the gift of Mary the model disciple who said the perfect yes to you. We pray that you open our minds and hearts to your Holy Spirit, that like Mary, we may surrender our will to yours, seeking first your kingdom in all things. And we ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, our bread. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, to praise the glory of his name, for our good and the all of the Holy Spirit. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, 
may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men, and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb, that the promises to the children of Israel might come about, and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the, of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by our lives.